What's up guys? I'm going to teach you how to get internet relay chat in your TF2 for scrims, pickup games, and whatever else you use internet relay chat for. First, I want to thank Master Cooney and Raise Fire because they did all the work and I did none of the work. The only work that I did is made this post and probably this video. But I'm going to teach you how to do that. I'm also going to teach you how to do it for custom HUDs as well, just in case you have a custom HUD or if your file is in a different location but the file name is called MLTD entries and we just download it and I really hope you know how to extract it I'm gonna extract it to the desktop for the sake of this video close it and there you go you got your text file now go to oop, what am I doing go to your TF folder and if you don't know where it is, I hope this is where your TF folder is. Program files, it might not be 86. Check it. Hit S for Steam because it's faster. Steam apps, common, Team Fortress 2, TF, and then CFG for config. Now, if you scroll down, you'll actually see MOTD entries in here already, and I'm going to briefly go over this. The reason why we can get IRC in this in our TF2 is because of this file right here or this line of code last request time checks the time of your current computer to see if this file should be updated if we change it by a year by 20 years by 2500,000 years apparently it will never get updated so we can abuse this and the way we're gonna abuse this is by this folder but first before I change that over I'm gonna show you what the widget is that news widget that we're gonna be changing it's in the top right hand of the default HUD and it has an envelope over it, it usually flashes and it has news about Team Fortress 2 but we're gonna change that and we're gonna use it for our benefit now, this is what I'm talking about. We're going to change this file. This image is going to change. These headers are going to change. This body is going to change. But what's more important is when we click read more, this is going to change. We're able to get into the Steam community or the shift tab menu. And this is where our internet relay chats are going to pop up. So now that we know about that, you're going to drag your MOTD entries file in here move and replace and the file is changed now we changed it to something ridiculous like 2099 because that's actually when TF2 is gonna die and we also changed the URL the rest of the stuff is probably gonna change too but for the sake of this beta or whatever you wanna call it we have IRC working might as well push it out to people now when you open up TF2 when we hit that widget it's going to change and when we hit that read more button it's gonna launch those three windows that we had in the URL and what's super convenient about that is we can have internet relay chat waiting for scrims waiting for pugs what have you all at our disposal while still playing TF2. But some of you have custom HUDs. And I'm going to show you how to change it in your custom HUD. But first, I'm going to delete the file. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move it so it gets rewritten. I'm going to show you, even though you have the MOTD underscore entries in your root or your TF slash CFG if you have a custom HUD I'm gonna show you where to put it and it went back alright so I have my custom HUD and if you don't know how to install a custom HUD there are probably videos on it I have custom here custom this guy CFG and I do not think I have it in here I do not. 
But this is where you're going to put it. Your CFG folder for your custom HUD. And then when you open up TF2, your custom HUD. It's going to be difficult to show because I don't have the little envelope on the screen. So I got to probably find it in a couple of clicks. But my custom HUD loads. Where are you? It's somewhere up there it is. And then when you click read more, same thing. So just make sure you have that file changed. MOTD underscore entries. And let's spread TF2, competitive TF2, to the casual players that are out there. Thanks for watching, guys.